After last week's massive disappointment, I was quite anxious to tune into the new morning show. I mean, I still cannot believe that we got a random time jump to the past and had to relive the entire pandemic in a one-hour episode. I was so disappointed that I couldn't push myself to make a review of the episode. It was a mess so big that I truly questioned whether to continue the show or not. Because I'm not sure if I'm lonely in this, but I feel like the morning show feels off. It does not have the charm that it had back in season 1. All those social justice warrior vibes do not relate to 2023's popular culture as it did back in 2019. And yes, I doubt if the morning show is still relevant. That being said, I'm glad that episode 6 of the show still delivers, albeit it is not as good as its peers in season 1 or 2. Nevertheless, I'm glad I've watched it. I mean, if I had missed out on Jennifer Aniston hooking up with John Hamm, I would have been really upset. Yes, you heard it right. I've mentioned previously that the chemistry between the characters Alex and Paul was so visible that it could be cut with a knife. And it took only two episodes for them to get in bed. Now, I know that Alex hated Paul only a few episodes prior to this. And the two did not exactly share much in between to change Alex's mind on him. The only thing is that he is hot and apparently this is enough for Alex to overlook every other red flag about him. To be honest, knowing that Paul is almost directly based on Elon Musk, I don't know how I feel about this pairing. I feel like there is a redemption arc being built up for Paul, and I don't like that. Nevertheless, I cannot deny that Jennifer Aniston and John Hamm look great together. Their intimate scenes made me feel like I was watching Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie for the first time in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It is that kind of pleasing feeling when you see two really hot people together. And yes, I know that I'm very superficial for admitting this. Also, The Morning Show is a pretty superficial show for trying to bring excitement back to the series with such a cheap story tool of pairing two of its biggest actors together. The love was in the air in general in this episode as Bradley also came back together with Laura. And as you can expect, I did not like that. I mean, we watched Bradley being anxious for the entire episode, barely making any conversation with anyone. And then once her brother left the town, she immediately ran to Laura and kissed her. Like how? This is far from realistic. It was bland, emotionless, lacked luster, and had basically no chemistry or passion at all. If the morning show assumes that it will regain its popularity by forcing such love subplots, it is very much wrong in my opinion. Instead of having random flashback episodes, the show needs to focus on reading modern media and pop culture and refining its relevance. As you can see, I had enough of the morning show and am very displeased with the downward trajectory of the show. That being said, I adore Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon so it feels difficult to leave the show behind so abruptly. What do you think should I do? Should I stick with the morning show? Do you like my reviews on this particular series? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.